welcome back to my channel life is a treasure my name is Michelle if you're new here welcome I am a reseller on Poshmark and my name is Michelle so today I'm gonna to be doing a little something different have my camera a different angle here and I'm going to talk a little bit louder because you're way over there but I wanted you to be able to see as I pack what has sold so I guess you would say this would be a ship with me because I'm going to be sharing the items that sold in my Poshmark closet over the weekend and as I do so I'm going to wrap them up to send them on their way to their new homes. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you I'd love for you to join me in this video and if you like these type of videos please subscribe, like this video and then comment in the description below the description and Say hi, introduce yourself, I would love to meet you here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm also going to probably chit chat with you as I pack, um, because as you are aware, there's so many things happening in our world right now that are drastic changes that I'm sure your mind has been all over the place with all these different things happening that affect our future. So. Hopefully this will give you some little getaway time. I hope it will just inspire you. I'm going to add intro and outro of some beautiful flowers that I went and got this weekend and um, just birds that are in my yard. So I hope that this is a time where you can just escape from the realities of what's going on around us that we have no control over. So we have only control over ourselves, our minds, what we watch, what we listen to and hopefully we can make wise choices for our mental health and for our children. So enough of that, enough of the soapbox, let's get on with the fun stuff. Let's see what sold because this was an exciting weekend for me because I did sell a few dresses that I recently showed you in my hauls. And I'm gonna to talk to you about my journey toward getting, getting dresses in my closet. I did not always sell dresses, um, I started in the beginning like a year ago I started selling full-time and I honestly probably was intimidated by dresses because they're so long but anyway I'll get into that later so let's get started with the first item that sold which was these uh, Sanuk sling yoga mat sandals my daughter was living in Portland Oregon and she sent me a pair of these that I still own um, and I had never seen them and they were very they're so awesome. You can wear them to the beach, to the pool, anywhere. They're so cute. But they come apart like this. And the bottom, this part's made out of yoga mat. And so you slip this through here and your heel goes right here. This goes between your toe and this goes over your foot. So these are called Sanuk. Um, the name's on the bottom right here of, this, of the shoe. And it's Sanuk. And these are some floral black floral sand ones and these are really cute which is of course why I bought them to resell so let's see these sold for $16 making my um, earnings 11 so I sell on Poshmark and when I tell you the sold price what they sell for that's what they sold for on Poshmark Poshmark does take their commission you know their little fee and um, either I give them discounted shipping so that does cut into my earnings as well so that's where the 16 is what the, per, the buyer paid for them and the $11 is what I earned my um, cost of goods on these were about a dollar if I picked them up at the Goodwill bins but I try to keep my cost of goods under $10 and um, preferably around two, just to give you an idea. Um, but if it's a substantial piece, I will pay up for it, depending on the item, how much it sells for, and I'm gonna share more on comps too as we go. But let's go ahead and get these wrapped. So what I would do, first I just always inspect my items because it might have been a few months before I last seen that, saw them. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. So I always do wanna check them, they look great. For these, I'm just going to wrap them up in paper. I just find that, to me, it's nicer than just throwing them in the bag. But to each his own, you know. We all sell 
on our platforms if we're a reseller and you know we do our own thing <laughs> we can i get ideas from other people and some of them i take and some of them i discard so you have to do what's best for you just as parenting or even in your life you know you can get opinions and ideas from other people but ultimately you decide what's best for you and what's best for your friend may not be best for you so what's best for an, one reseller may not be best for another. Okay, so I just wrapped them really cute. I'm gonna take a little business card. Well, it actually is thank you card. Thank you for supporting my small business. Cute, I get them on Amazon. And I'm going to put a sticker as well, which holds it in place. Actually, I put two, one on the top, one on the bottom. So then it ends up looking like that. Now these would be too small to put in a shoe box. They would just totally be swallowed up by the box. So I'm going to use a plastic bag, poly mailer bag like this that I ordered from Amazon as well. It says thank you. And I'm going to slip it in here. Make sure y'all can see. I know I did another video you can't really see. Sorry about that. I'm learning as I go. And we're, hold on, let me go in the trash bin. Yeah, so I am learning as I go. Aren't we all, you know, my Poshmark journey, my YouTube journey, my podcast journey. It's, life is university. So, anyway, that's that. It's so cute now. I'm going to put it in a USPS envelope that I get from the Postal Service. Talked about this as well. I get them free from the post office. They, I order them online. They ship them to my house. Put it in here and put the label on it. These are going to Massachusetts. I always like to see where my items are heading out to. So they're gonna go to Massachusetts. Should've put this on before, okay. So I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. I'd love to hear about it in the um, comments below. So, happy mail sticker and she's ready to go. I'm gonna put them out of the way in this box for now. So, next item that sold was a purse. I was so happy. This lady sent me an offer of $20 on this purse. I just dropped the box. And I said yes, gladly. I didn't say that. But y'all, this purse is a pretty purse. It's a Silver Rake brand, Silver Rake. S-I-L-V-E-R-A-K-E. -E. It is a faux crocodile red with this vintage silver de detailing. And it's a bulky purse to store. <laughs> so she sent me an offer for 20. I accepted it. My earnings after fees and shipping discount was $16. One second, let me pick up this box. Okay, so I don't rem I haven't looked up my cost of goods yet in my system to you know see what I paid for it yet. I do that. I'm gonna do that later on. But I mean, I probably paid about five, so I didn't make much on it. You know, maybe ten dollars profit, but I'm happy with that because each profit adds up. You know, so if it's five or ten, they add up, and so it does snowball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a large flat rate box for this purse and what I do is I line the box with my craft paper right here I'm not going to wrap this purse I'm just going to place it this way when she opens it so she can see the front of it yeah like that in here but this is the biggest there is so we're gonna make it do and it's perfect so we're gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna place a piece of paper on top of it and I'm gonna tuck it around the sides okay so like that like not the greatest but and then what I'm gonna do is if I put a little cord it would just be swallowed up so I'm gonna use this one 
I have these. I say, you've got great taste. Thanks for supporting our small business. I'm going to take it on with a thank you sticker. Two of them. And there we go. So now when she opens the box, it will be like that. I just, I just like to add a personal touch to my packages. I appreciate it so much. When I order on Poshmark and I get my items in, it is a difference of, I'll tell you in one sec, it's gonna be allowed. Going to North Carolina. Yeah. I hope she enjoys this purse. It is really a cute purse. And I'm happy that it is going to someone who really loves it as well. Okay, this is gonna be big. Let me just take it here. So anyway, what I was saying was um what was I saying? <laughs> I have so much on my mind, y'all. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm all over the place because of my mind prop really is okay let's just keep on and then I'll tell you this is where I wish you could talk to me talk to me guys okay so the next item that sold is this Eden and Olivia shirt I really like this brand because it's a super soft lightweight cotton and it's so breathable when it's a hundred and something degrees outside and this one has floor flowers all over it and you know what I just realized y'all <laughs> I have two of these shirts for sale, Eden and Olivia. One of them has hummingbirds and one had flowers. And I think it was a hummingbird one that sold and I pulled the wrong one. So I'm not going to be able to ship this one. But anyway, um, I'm not shipping this one. I have to pull the one that sold. But it's the same. It just has a different print. So to give you an example, it's over $22. And after the fees and shipping discount, my earnings were $18 and I'm pretty sure I only paid about a dollar at a thrift store when they were doing their clearance. So my earnings would have been $17. My net profit would have been $17 on the shirt. So let me put it, put it aside so I can pull the correct one. Alrighty. Next would be these jeans right here. And I heard a lot about Levi wedgies and I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I thought, wow, Levi Wedgies. I mean, this person says she sells them like hotcakes. So I found a pair, and I was so excited. I don't, I wouldn't have paid more than 10, so, you know, five or seven bucks for them. But y'all, these sat for a while, didn't get attention, but they ended up selling um, $24, and my earnings were 19 So... Would I pick them up again? Probably not, to be honest with you. I wasn't, like for example, one time I found a pair of Ed Hardy um, jeans that were like all embellished and stuff. And oh my gosh, as soon as I listed them, they sold. And I don't list like very low, you know, I do give room for discounts. So I was really shocked. So right now, I, sh I forgot, I should have buttoned this before the video, but I didn't. I'm not going to waste the time. Um, I'm going to button this off camera, but I'm going to wrap them in the paper like you saw what I did with the shoes. And I'm going to put them in a bag because they will they will fit. Um, I always ship my jeans in the poly mailers. I make them, you know, fit and they're good and protected. So I'm going to do those off camera because I need to button those buttons. I just like to send my items looking as new as possible. And that's what I was saying. It reminded me. There's a huge difference. When I receive a package as a buyer from Poshmark or anywhere, if I open it, well, actually, better example is this. I get it like that, and they just have the item all crumpled up. I mean, they probably folded it, but, you know, if you just stick it in there like that with a label on it, um, it's going to get tossed around, and which is fine, but, you know, when I pay for something and I order it, you know, and I get it, and it's like this, and, and it just wrapped and um, take it out it's like okay compare it to being wrapped I, when I get it wrapped it's wrapped in paper or the ribbon on it and it has a little card or thank you know it's so much better it's just a totally different experience it doesn't take much money these are so cheap to get I used to get stuff at the Dollar Tree 
but it's you can get everything inexpensively anyway enough of that i just do think it takes a lot a less a little bit of time but it really means a lot to the person on the other end you know think of it as a gift but they're paying for it okay so the jeans uh sold at 24 my earnings were 19 again i probably wouldn't pick them up unless they were new new with tags just me let me know do y'all sell these i don't sell levi's that well at all really uh, but i do hear people sell levi's like crazy so i don't know why i don't get it but i try i do try anything and everything you know i'm not scared to try things so let's see the next thing to sell now these i do pick up probably every time i see them because i've had great luck with them and these are the a6 gel noosa has been my number one noosa people buy that so fast and the brighter rainbow color neon the better um but something like this does sit longer than the neon ones um they're not as attractive but these are like brand new and they're the gel venture six and these are a woman's size 10 that's probably why they sat a little no that's a great size i really don't know but they ended up selling for 27 my earnings were 22 not bad so these i am going to wrap each one up y'all i think for time's sake i'm not going to do it because i tend to chat and talk it takes too long so i'm going to wrap each one up i'm going to put them in a shoe box like this this one like right here and then if there's wiggle room which there will not be but if so i put an air pack so that's how these are going to get shipped out and they're going to Colorado. I love Colorado. Okay, so the next item that I sold is a Free People tunic. This is a pretty tunic. It's a real lightweight Free People tunic. And it has like this coral color or sa salmon color. And it sold for $30. So my earnings were $20 or $21. All right, the next item to sell are these vans, new with tags. I think these are the old school name, old school. These were new with tags. They sold for $32, making, I mean, and my earnings were $24. Not bad. The next item to sell was this Moulinette Soiree's on by Anthropology Tool floral midi dress so for $38 it is so pretty you saw it in the um haul that I had recently and uh, someone purchased it who lives in Oregon my daughter used to live in Oregon so it's going to Oregon and like I said $38 my earnings were 28 on there on that one Okay, another dress, a beautiful dress, silk dress. It's this one right here. It's a paisley dress, paisley print. It's by Laundry by Shelly Seagull, and it sold for $48. I recently had this in a haul as well. Therefore, my earnings after fees and shipping discount is $38. Okay, and the next and last item to sell, did I tell you where that was going? This is going to California, yeah. Okay, the next item to sell is going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> and it does, it is a beautiful dress. I'm gonna tell you this. I have no net, this is my first time finding and selling Tanvi Kedia, or Kedia. T-A-N-V-I. K-E-D-I-A. And it's this Aztec tra tribal print. Beautiful, beautiful little dress. Okay, like I did share it in a haul, so you may have seen it then. Um, but it is absolutely stunning. I mean, it is a gorgeous dress. It got so much attention <laughs> this dress was literally so hot man everyone was liking it and you know that's what people do it was like this big everyone was, it just was getting so much attraction and um finally finally it sold for 64 dollars so 64 dollars 
and it's going to Puerto Rico. So my earnings on it come out to $48.50. So I do believe I paid up for this. I probably paid for this one right at around 20 at a consignment store. I remember buying this in Austin, Texas. So with that being said, I probably made a profit of about almost 30 on there on this dress. So just for purchasing this dress to get a return of about $30, I am so grateful for that. Um, you know, so I am just so happy with this haul, with this um, what sold. It's some beautiful items. It's such a variety. I mean, last week as well, last weekend was just a huge variety of items. Um, so it's just, I don't know. Um, I think that, yes, things are difficult right now, which I think is even more so why people, you know, they might still go places, but they still want, they still need clothing, you know, and, and things to wear to events and holidays. So they're looking for a deal and I'm more than happy to help people. Um, some are repeat customers and they come back and I give them discounts. So if that's you, thank you. And if you are just watching just to see like what I buy and what I sell, thank you. I hope it's in entertaining. I hope it's inspiring to see these beautiful clothes and the fact that they're going to go from a thrift store, like someone didn't want these items. They didn't want them, but they didn't throw them in the trash can. Thank God. They just brought them to a donation store or to a consignment store. And I was then able to pick them up. And now they get to go all over the United States. They get to go into the new home and that just makes my heart happy. So I hope it makes you happy. I hope it inspires you just to see the beautiful things. And I'm looking in front of me. I have these two beautiful dresses that I just haul picked up and sourced this weekend. My first time buying this type of like wedding gown, prom type dress, this beautiful. I have a few, um, but they're not like this. I cannot wait to show you in the haul. Not sure if y'all can get a peek, sneak peek in the mirror, but I'm not sure. But you might want to subscribe because they, I really am finding some amazing dresses items that just somebody doesn't want anymore and they're gonna go to a new home and um yeah so i still have to wrap all this because as you can tell i like to talk <laughs> so let me go ahead and let you go i'm gonna wrap all these items i need to get them out to the post office so they can go on their way to their new homes i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have i love your ideas i love creating videos any other videos you'd like to see, any questions you may have on any of my other videos, please let me know. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'd love to have you as, as a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.